Hi there, welcome back to my channel. And if it's your first time here, welcome, welcome. Guys, right, so today's video, I'm gonna change stuff up a little bit. I will be doing another video with my rhinestone applicator. Um, but this time I will be using a shirt that I have created um, for a birthday queen. All right. So we're just gonna jazz the crown up a little bit and add some rhinestones to the stars, okay? All right, so let me grab my little tree and I think these would be pretty for this shirt. All right, so you don't want it to be too big because you don't want, you know, too loud. So let's just grab some of these. Okay. Alright, and then for the rhinestone applicator, I need to grab the tip that goes with this size. So this would be the smallest size rhinestone I have, and that would be the four millimeter um, applicator head. All right, so we're just gonna screw this on right here. So you ensure that your applicator is still off before you you put on your applicator tip. All right, so I'm just gonna turn that on so it heats up a little bit. So while I wait for that to heat up, I will be using a hard surface um, to place under or in between the shirt so it doesn't burn through on the other side right so in my previous video that I did um, I think I you know underestimated the fact that it would it would be so hot and actually go right through the actual material so this time I'm prepared so I'll be using something hard on the other side all right so just checking to see how warm that is right now so we're just gonna apply a few rhinestones to the tips of the stars and on the crown okay I would put it on the crown design itself but because this is a heat it's really hot and it will damage the design on my vinyl and I don't want that to happen so I'm just gonna apply it to the shirt itself okay not on the vinyl so I use the heat transfer vinyl to achieve this um, with my Cricut Explorer Air 2 to cut the design all right I can leave the links below with the particular vinyls that I use to create this um, t-shirt and I will also link below the link for for this applicator all right all right so I think we're hot don't try that at home and I need to grab my little tweezer or my little pencil to Put my rhinestones on the areas that I want to design all right so I think that's perfect right here and right here yes so let's get into it so you're gonna hold this down for a couple seconds just to heat the glue that is on the other side of the rhinestones. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little, um, there's glue there. So this is why you need the heat gun to activate it. All right, so I'm gonna hold this down for a couple seconds. So I did that for about 10 seconds. All 
Okay, awesome. And it's on, not going anywhere. Lovely. All right, so we're gonna start with this star on this side. So you can go, you know, individually, then heat, or you could, you know, lay them all down and then heat, um, similar to what I'm doing right now. But I think this just makes the process quicker for me, that is. Okay, and the last one. So I'll just go around and apply, use the heat gun to hold it in place. So you can also use the, the heat applicator to move it a little bit if it's not exactly where you want it to be when you're working. Um, but I think these are fine. So this is just a quick uh, little craft project that I wanted to bring to you today. Um, just something simple and it is pretty easy to achieve this, um, this rhinestone look on t-shirts. Um, if you have more time, you know, you could try a bit more complex project where you're using the rhinestones to create the words, right? All right, so we're almost finished with this side. See, it only takes a couple of minutes to really um, create a different look on your tees. All right, so this side is done. Looking so cute, love it. All right, so let's go ahead and apply it to this side. And you guys can let me know if you wanna see more videos um, like this one. You know, is there a particular look you wanna see me try? I'm pretty open to doing that for you. And this is the first time I'm actually doing one of my, my actual teas that I do for my customers. Um, you know, I've never done one with rhinestone before, so we're learning together. All right, but I love it. It's, it's really nice so far, and I'm sure my customer is gonna love it too. But this rhinestone applicator, um, it was definitely a good investment. I really love working with it. It makes the process so easy and it's not messy. You know, working with glue is a little bit messier um, and it really stays on. Um, remember that first um, tank top that I did? It holds up pretty well in all my wash cycles. Like. I have no issues, I don't have rhinestones falling off. Everything is still intact. All right, and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, you've made it this far in my video. I'm sure you're learning a lot. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and you know, leave a comment and also give me a like, all right? And don't be afraid to share this video with your friends.
Okay, there we have it. Everything is intact. Ooh, well, oh, I missed one. <laughs> I didn't do this one. Uh, here we go. All right, awesome. So, let's go ahead and remove this from the back end. And I'm gonna slide it down just a little bit so I can apply one rhinestone right here. Right there. So this, this applicator gun gets really hot, so try not to touch the base of the, the applicator right here. It's, it has a little heat, so it's best to hold it in this area when you're applying, okay? All right, so I'm gonna turn this off because I'm finished working with this now. And let's put that to the side. And as I mentioned, guys, it, it goes all the way through, right? And this little board stayed intact. So you can see a little impression of where the heat penetrated, but it's perfectly fine. All right, so there you have it. Nice way to, to jazz up your t-shirts um, and create a nice, you know, feminine queen vibe for a birthday tea. Thanks again so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in my next one.